Hi. My name is Mark and in this video we're going to do a little lens modding. More specifically, we're going to be installing the new SIM mod focus gear onto my contacts Carl Zeiss 21mm f2.8. The best part is it's so simple that I need to quote the everyday dad when I say, if I can do it, you can do it. We just need a bit of music. There we go. That's better. Let's mod. This is the Contax Carl Zeiss 21mm f2.8. And it's a bit of a white whale in the Contax Zeiss lineup, and boy, do I have plans for this lens, but in order for me to execute those, I need to keep this lens as close to its original condition as I can. And it was intentionally left out when I had my 35, 50, and 85 fully modded recently for video use. Oh, I still want to shoot video with this lens, and I was presented with a new option to add focus gear functionality that I could easily install myself. So of course I took it. So that's where these new SIM mod focus gears come into play, and that's why I've got all of my tools out ready to rock and roll. I actually only really need this. The rest of these are just for show. I did say it was simple, right? First thing to do before doing anything is to measure the diameter of your lens barrel because that's where the focus gear is going to mount. The best tool to do this with is a caliper, which I got on Amazon for $12. So using my caliper, measure the barrel of the lens. The barrel of this lens measures 62.7 millimeters. Now taking this measurement, go to the focus gear section on the SIBMOD webpage, which I've linked in the description. And you can see the various focus gear size options here. And because mine is a 62.7 millimeter, I'm going to order the small size, which will fit any barrel between 62 to 65 millimeters. Now, once that arrives, it'll look a little something like this. Open it up, and inside you'll find a few things. Number one, the focus gear itself. Now, this thing isn't 3D printed, it's not made of Delrin. This is billet aluminum that's been CNC machined. This thing isn't going to bend or break, hot or cold. This is what we're going to install on the lens barrel. Number two, four rubber inserts, which vary in thickness and have the measurements of their respective sizes marked here on the side. This is what allows you to fit the standard size focus gears onto your lens. Number three, shim tape. Now, this is what you use if you need a slightly snugger fit. This tape measures 0.25 millimeters, so if your lens falls somewhere in the in-between, you can use this shim tape to secure it into place for a perfectly snug fit. Now, there's also a card in here with specific instructions on the steps to do this, with one critical one, which I'll get to in a bit. Now, the next thing I need to do is install the appropriate rubber insert into the focus gear itself. Now, as I mentioned earlier, each rubber insert is marked with its appropriate diameter. Now, because the barrel of the 21 is 62.7 millimeters, I'm going to use a 63 millimeter rubber insert. Now, the rubber fitting installs easily just like this. And once that's on, the gear is ready to be mounted onto the lens itself. Now it's time to reference that little card that came in the package. Now on top of the step-by-step -step instructions, the biggest takeaway this card offers is before installing the gear onto the lens itself, you must focus your lens to infinity. Now because these old lenses use a helicoid thread when adjusting the focus, see how the barrel extends out as I close the focusing distance? If you don't have the lens set to infinity, it could damage those helicoid threads. Focus to infinity, very important, times infinity. So that's the first thing I'm going to do with this 21 millimeter, because damage is not an option with this lens. Focus to infinity checked. Now you can install the gear itself from either the front or the back of the lens. And because the 21 millimeter has this massive front element that's much bigger than the focus ring, I'm going to install this from the back of the lens. Using slight pressure, slide the focus ring onto the back or the front of the lens, depending on which way you're installing it from. 
I like to wiggle it ever so slightly like this, making sure to support the focus barrel with your fingers while pushing the gear on. There should be some resistance to ensure a good fit, but by all means, don't white knuckle this on. If you have to apply too much pressure, size up on one of the rubber inserts and use the shim tape to dial it in. That's it, it's that simple. Just make sure it's even all around and that should do it. I just wanna make sure that its position lines up as close to my other contacts lenses as possible so I don't have to move the follow focus too much when I do a lens swap. Now over time the rubber sets after install and it will appropriately form fit the lens to either the rubber or metal grooves. Now I think for me the biggest value here is the do it yourself aspect and just how easy it is. Now the only other options are 3D printed gears which break fairly easily and aren't that reliable in a professional environment. Delrin gears are a nice option. My Takamars have Delrin gears on them right now, as you can see here, but they're a bit tricky to do yourself, depending on your lens. Now, in many cases, installing them, you'll actually need an oven to heat them up so that the gears expand on a molecular level. And while they're still hot and fresh out of the oven, you need to mount them on your lens, and as the gear cools, it will set and form to your lens. Don't leave them in too long, they'll melt, or don't put them on the right way, they'll set uneven. You get the picture. Plus, I don't like baking anything I can't eat. Cookies, pizza, casserole, quiche. Now by contrast, it took me two minutes to install one of these new gears onto my 135, and it actually makes a nicer overall fit compared to the older Delrin gears. Now with these, you'll get the durability of billet aluminum construction, plus the ability to easily do it yourself. Just make sure you get your measurements right and focus to infinity before installing the gear onto your lens. Now, I think focus gears are one of the most useful mods you can make to your vintage SLR lenses if you're using them for video. It's great that we now have this option whereby we can do this ourselves easily without any real compromise. Any step that makes it easier to do this stuff ourselves without having to send your lenses away is a good thing. What do you guys think? Focus gears or no focus gears? Let me know. Questions, as always, leave them down below or go check them out over at simmudlens.com. Full video on the Contax Carl Zeiss 21mm is in pre-production. This is gonna be a bit of a mini doc. It's such an interesting lens. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.